Okay, so now we have the tall task of mixing a song like the Foo Fighters. The problem, I've only got one real guitar player, everything else is MIDI. The solution, modern music production methods. Here's how we're going to do it. I've already inserted the uh, the reference, so I'm going to use kind of a similar approach and just see where are they and where am I. So let's go ahead and listen. <laughs> Okay, good news and bad news. The good news is that our tracks are actually not that far off as far as loudness. The bad news is they have a lot more weight and color and dimension than my track. Check it out. Now, granted, I did spend some time already mixing this, but how am I going to make up and find that character, that, that color that we're seeking? NLS. I love this particular suite of plugins. It's very inexpensive, but just amazing to use. I've only used it for rock music. That's kind of when I bring it out of the bag. Um, how do you use it? You basically insert it into every single channel, and then you insert the bus on the master. And so what happens is you have this intercommunication between the plugins, and I can start adding distortion and analog warmth to each and every track um, individually away from the mixing. So if you've been following me again, I love the idea of getting into the other part of the ritual, right? We're done with mixing. We're done with composition. I want to finish the song now. It's due. I have to turn it in. What do I do? So you can see that I inserted the track, and then I assigned it a group. So all of my drums are on group number one, the bass is on group number two, etc., etc. I don't have to control it from there, though. I can control it from the master NLS bus. And here, like I said, I can increase the drive and do various things like that. Now, check this out. Um, without it, it sounds like this. <laughs> And you can see we got a whole lot of weight coming in now. Now, this is a little out of context because I have to put in the rest of the mastering chain in order for this to make sense. Let me bypass it again. Let's listen. Okay, let me add it. Here we go. Okay, great. So, look, I get it. It's a lot louder, right? My settings are bigger. The stereo width is bigger. But now I actually have a shot at submitting this, at having other people hear it right next to the Foo Fighters and say, hey, you know what? Sounds really full. Sounds really big. Let's take it. Bear in mind, I've only got one guitar player. So I'm trying to do the best I can to just fill out the space. Isn't that what we're supposed to do as producers? We're supposed to fill out the stereo spectrum. We've got two speakers or two headphones, and we have to fill them up to the best of our abilities without, uh, you know, diffusing or, or uh, clouding up the space. It needs to be clear. <laughs> Yeah, 
I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. You can see my LUFS is right where it needs to be. Uh, let me try one more time. <laughs> And then also a word of advice, if you are going over or under by 3 dB, I highly recommend you start separating the frequency band so you can really start to tailor your master. I have brought up an EQ so I can try and rectify my issues here. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm happy with that. Bear in mind, this is also a song that has vocals, so there's that to consider. Probably the best workflow is to just cycle through a section in their song, a hook. Um, in this case, I have an instrumental, so I'm going to try and find an, um, a section that's an instrumental. And I believe you hold control after that, and then it just cycles through. <laughs> Yeah, you can see essentially all I'm doing is I'm adjusting my EQ so that it fits a little bit better within the frequency bands of reference. Now, bear in mind, it's not going to be perfect. I never use any of these metering tools as a way for me to lean on them and and try and fix my problems. You know, you have to know how to fish. That's the only way this is ever going to work. But to have these visual indicators um, is a godsend. That's for sure. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. The NLS workflow is a fantastic way for you to make up sound a lot better with just some simple tools. Um, you know, you get to kind of simulate this um, this console workflow, and it's great. You get um, different simulations. They've got the Neve and a couple of others here, and then, of course, you can raise up the volume or drop from here, but for me, the best part is you get to add drive or analog warmth or distortion. So I hope you enjoyed that as well, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in my... Yep, actually, let me do this. So like I said, if there's a bump between 3 and 5, above or below, please consider boosting or reducing in that um, frequency band. That's kind of the way to do it. Um, this plugin is incredible. You get to A, B, a bunch of different tracks, up to 20. Um, I love it particularly because you get to... Uh, Find the EQ balance punch, which is something that you, you know, is, is not that easy to hear. So that's one of the big selling points for me. And then, of course, the stereo width. Is their high-end information a lot wider than mine? And if so, what do I do about it? I love that you can solo the uh, individual frequency bands, which I didn't show you. I believe you just control click each one and you can literally hear their low end against your low end. It's um, by far the best thing ever. And then, of course, we talked about the importance of level matching. Um, what I recommend, build a collection of a bunch of tracks and then start to analyze their information with yours, low end, um, high end, things like that. Excuse me. And start studying the music. Start seeing what your music sounds like and then what their music sounds like and then what you need to do. Does your kick need to be fatter? Does the snare need to be... Uh, you know, harder, what what needs to happen in order to get one step closer to having the music that you know you can make, that you know that you can produce. Um, yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. I'm right here for you. Keep fighting the good fight. You can get your music to sound as great as you want it to sound. You have to start telling yourself. You have to start believing that you can do it. It's the only way. And clock in and clock out every single day. If you need to take a day off, I highly recommend that you postpone that day 
for the next day. So in other words, if you're tired today, tell yourself, hey, I'll take the day off, but I'm going to take it tomorrow. Today, I'm going to get right back to work. I don't care if you have to go through the motions. Do what you got to do to get yourself back in the game so you can live your dreams, live your aspirations now. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Eddie Gray. I'll see you later. Cheers.